Hey, what's going on Capricorn? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Guys, thanks for tuning in to your June 2020 Wealth and Abundance reading. Um, I'll be using the Good Tarot to do this read and I'm using a wealth read that includes a question from um, that says, will money come in soon? So that's specifically why I chose this reading because I think it's really important to understand what your opportunities for um, gaining new income or like a pop of money, you know. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. Keep in mind, always, this is a general read and I really hope it resonates with you or that it, you at least get the information or that one card that is going to help you uh, with your wealth and wealth and finances in June 2020. So I'm just going to shuffle the deck a couple more times and I'm mindful of my intro because I don't want to go on too long and you know A bore you guys rigid and B take up too much time of the video. So all right I'm almost ready here. Um, so we're going to look at your current finances and I really always because I deal with energy so much this is like how you feel about your finances right as well as what is actually going on so current finances you've got the chariot card here <clears throat> so the chariot is always about owning your energy you are able to change what is going on in your world you know if you ever if you're on social media at all you'll probably see things that your thoughts become things you create your own reality and here's the card that really states that um you just have to control yourself it's like control your thoughts control what you're putting out into the universe and this is a really calm sedate in control um chariot card and i really like this this is one of my favorite chariot cards because it is so self-assured and that is what you absolutely need in all times especially when it comes to finance um you know it's not anything to get emotional about you know unless you're feeling really good about it um some people boy they get so angry when they have to pay their bills or you know it's income tax time or whatever but anger is, is it doesn't belong in the realm of your house of money so let's see, will money come in soon? Really interesting combination here so far, you guys. So you've got the Hermit card. So have you been getting any kind of indication from your team of spirit guides, from your um, angels? Because the Hermit card wants you to start listening to your soul, um, to what is going on. And this is a closed door. You know, usually the Hermit, it's like some old dude like trudging along and he's got his lantern and he's following it through whatever his journey is and I think this is so compelling that this is so different and because it's a closed door um I just don't want to read from the this says time out I'm going to read from the companion book here for you guys just hold on so sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection this is a temporary experience but one necessary for your growth when you step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have a clear perspective on everything in your life. So, I mean, maybe things are just going to stay status quo for the month of June um, because you've got the chariot, which is a really even balance. Like, there's nothing really high or low about it. And then the hermit, the, the doors are closed. But these are just your first two cards. Um, and you maybe just want to get in touch more with your spiritual side or at least leave any feelings of worry, stress, or anger about money. Like close the door on that and leave everything else. You know, and if you grew up around parents like who were scared of money, you know, like had a scarcity mindset or that, like were so mad when they had to pay for something. I remember like my dad would just freak out if anything extra like, you know, oh, we can't afford that. And he would just blow his mind, you know, so you kind of grow up watching that. And then you get into that mindset where, you know, you don't take the opportunity to, you know, if something weird comes up and you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to ask the universe for that, you know, instead of like freaking out. Um, when you have the option of being remaining calm and cool and looking for that sort of asset to come in from somewhere else, 
as opposed to having a complete meltdown. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but if you've grown up in an environment where somebody was really explosive about money or really disgruntled or whatever negative energy, then it might, might um, be a little bit more difficult for you. So that's probably why you're being encouraged to go into hermit mode. So you can sort of figure that out. And let's see financial opportunities to consider. So you've got the seven of fire here and the seven of fire is really just sort of breaking free and like owning your own reality and pushing back against, you know, the norm. And that's what I was talking about with the hermit and the chariot card. Like what was normal for your family? Was there a lot of money? Was there, sorry, there's some like wicked glare coming off that card. Um, anyway, okay, well here. So... Like in most decks, the character in the card is standing with the wand in front of them and sort of pushing everybody else's opinion back. So this is what you're being called upon to, upon to do right now is to find your own opinion, find out what you really believe and change your beliefs like for the better, you know, um, like talking about my parents who were always in this scarcity mindset and being angry. I had to really change the way I think about money. And like I listened to Bob Proctor. Um, Bob Proctor has a free book. It's called Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I, I purchased a book off of Amazon for, it's called um, Three Magic Words. And I listened to affirmations like that wealth mindset. It comes easy to people that are born into wealth because that's what they see. So you're really being called to sort of change that for yourself so that you can change your life and change the life of your family. So we have beneficial financial projects or people and I pulled the ace of air. So you do have somebody coming in. Um, they're probably going to be some sort of financial wizard or will introduce you to a calmer way of looking at things. It could even be me. You know, maybe you just didn't know that there was a different way of looking at finances and you had to be worried and stressed out. You know, you don't have to be. I mean, things are going to be the way they are, regardless of how you react to them. So, and your reaction can make things worse. So, this is actually called the victory card when it's the Ace of Swords. So, the Ace of Air, it, it just shows like, being lifted up and being able to move forward and you have this combination of the seven of fire and the ace of air and they're both just so at ease with themselves and you guys have a lot of um like equine sort of representation here like you've got horses unicorns pegasus and they're just so beautiful and flowing and you know there's just such an air of you know just it's almost like this casual elegance so i think you're being beckoned by team and spirit to when i say team i mean your your team of angels right i'm gonna keep that card because it poked its head out because there's, there's a different way of approaching finances and even though i don't really see anything new coming in for you i see an opportunity for you to sort of break away from the way that people may have trained you to observe finances and be scared about money. Let's see your outcome here. So you have the queen of water. So you really are being compelled to go within yourself and find all these resources within yourself. Like people say that you don't have to look outwards because all the answers are within you. You know, there's something so powerful about an individual who is self-assured. And again, like the horse reference, if you haven't seen the way that horses move, um, I really want you to just go and check that out. And it might seem a little bit weird, but they're so stunningly beautiful and, and it's they're so fluid. So there's a more fluid approach to finance available here for you. And the queen of water, of course, she represents how you feel about things and being able to like calm the storm within you and it just it's going to make all the difference in the world um and you might want to start practicing like wealth affirmations as part of part of your daily practice and i think that's because some 
like people are like, well, I really wanted to know about money and not how to control my energy, even though they are linked, you guys, um, whether that's, you know, part of your conscious awareness right now or not. I'm going to pull one more card for you guys, you know, if you're still here. <laughs> so you have the Ace of Fire. So you have brand new ideas coming in here. You really do. You have a brand new way of looking at finance. And with that comes brand new opportunities, ideas from the universe on how to make more money. But you're, you are going to have to detach yourself from people that get angry about money, cut them off. You know, if you grew up in that family that everybody's just so freaked out. Oh, I can't believe you spent that much money. Whoa, you know, and just, oh, I can't, this bill is too expensive. You know, detach yourself away from those people with the seven of air, you know, and look at ways of bringing in, ways of feeling like you're on top of the world with the ace of air and like detach from this emotional overload when it comes to, you know, paying for the resources that you need to run your life. You know, you, people like overreact when it comes to paying all their utilities, but without the utilities, you wouldn't have a warm house or running water or, you know, Wi-Fi. So, you know, and if it's that much of an issue, maybe phone and negotiate some of your bills out. Um, so I think you guys, and I'm being guided to just... There's something else available to you guys and it feels like it's a little bit hidden and it could be hidden behind like the the reaction. You know, if you're if you're annoyed all the time, like the the solution's not going to appear to you. I'm going to do a deck cut here. So you've got the 6 of fire. So you just with a little bit of tweaks and I'm seeing balances, like balancing off the mood swings, like being I know it's really hard to be happy when you're paying your bills, but at least don't be angry when you're paying them, you know, because you do have universal support here with the six of fire. You have a lot of really positive cards here, but it looks like you're going to have to reach to attain them to sort of start bringing in that wealth and abundance for you. So you guys have some homework in June and like, let's see what July says. You guys like kind of work on your energy and what you're sharing out there. And remember to just manage your your finance with your finances with grace. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here and just hope you guys, you know, I hope this was a beneficial lesson in economics. So anyway, guys, take care. <laughs> Bye.